welcome to Sports Talk with Troy, where I may or may not be an expert, but I am a longtime fan with an informed and knowledgeable opinion. And let's talk about this Saturday's matchup between Water Trade Champions Sean Showtime Porter and Earl The Truth Spence. And don't forget, if you like what you do here on Sports Talk with Troy, don't forget to give a channel subscription and the video a thumbs up. You know, right now, Walter weight, 147 pounds, is a pretty good division. Along with Spence and Porter being champions, we also have future first belt Hall of Famer Manny Pacquiao coming off a great win over Keith Thurman, and Terrence Crawford, who most people have right up there as being the best boxer in the sport in the world right now. So much Sam Lomachenko, a few people might say Canelo, but Crawford's right there as the best boxing sport. So it's a stacked division, and Porter and Spence are both very good. I, I think Porter is probably fourth of the champions, and I think Spence is starting to make a move to be in the best in sport conversation, in my opinion. And I think it went over Porter will push him more into that stratosphere than even his win over Garcia. So I want to be clear, I don't think Sean Porter is a better, more talented, more versatile boxer than Mike Garcia is. But Garcia was coming up from 135, 147. And I think Garcia has a really good career ahead of him at either 140 or 147. But it was his first time against Spence at that weight. Sean Porter has been at the weight for a while. I believe he's been at the weight his entire career. He might have had some time at 140, and he's been in with some pretty talented boxers himself. So for that's why I think Porter is going to provide Spence with a better opportunity to make the move into the best in the sport talk. You know, Sean Porter has some versatility in his game but he's really at his best when he's put on pressure and making it more of a fight than a boxing match. And if he's gonna pull off the upset, I think that's what he has to do. I really think that Sean Porter has to keep Earl Spence on the ropes and outwork him for 36 minutes. I believe Sean Porter has to take advantage of this. You don't score points in boxing. For all the talk of effective punches, effective aggression, cut the ring, there's no point value to these things. Basically, you're trying to persuade the judges that in that three round stanza, you are the better guy, you're in control. And sometimes, if you can force guy to the ropes, and throw punches, you may be able to persuade the judges that you are the better guy. However, of course, landing punches and landing the harder punches are oftentimes a more persuasive argument. And while I think Porter will be able to work, I think Spence will be landing the better, more effective punches, even off the ropes. I feel that even if everything is going to plan for, for Sean Porter, I think Earl Spence is gonna be the better boxer in every situation. I think even if Porter's able to, to push spins the ropes and not just throw punches and smother shots out, but throw punches and land punches. I think Spence is gonna be landing as well. I think he's gonna be landing more significant punches. So I really don't see a scenario in the fight in which Spence isn't the better boxer. So 
truth be told, and no pun intended there, because it's Spence's nickname, I don't think Earl Spence is really gonna give Sean Porter a lot of opportunities to push him to the ropes. Spence is a bigger guy, he's a stronger guy. You know, I don't like the word natural for weight because we're all a result of our, our diets and lifestyles. Regardless if we're boxers or normal people, that's a whole nother topic again. But I believe that Sean Porter is probably gonna peak at 147. He may make a run to 154 for something, but I can see Earl Spence being a middleweight someday. He's the bigger guy, and he's gonna be able to push Sean Porter back. And I would think Spence is most comfortable using his right, his right jab, because he's a southpaw, to create distance and push opponents back. And that's what I think he's gonna to try to do against Sean Porter. So can Sean Porter beat Earl Spence this Saturday? If the answer is can, I think he can. But I don't think he will. In fact, for as much as I've praised Sean Porter, I think Spence is clearly the better boxer in every way, shape, and form. I believe that Porter can make it ugly and steal some rounds and maybe win, but I think most likely scenario is that Earl Spence wins and wins pretty comfortably and pretty clearly. Now, in the pre-hype fight, Spence has talked a lot about wanting to be the first guy to stop Sean Porter, and I think he can. I think it'll take a lot of some work. I think it'd be a late round stop if it happens, but Sean Porter and his career showed a good amount of durability. <clears throat> and, you know, since I feel like I need to make a prediction, I'm actually gonna go with a, a late round stoppage. It, it might not be a 10 count. It might be the referee decides that Sean Porter's had enough. <clears throat> but, I think the fight will go at least past eight rounds, if not longer. I think that Spence probably stops Porter late in the fight, and if he doesn't, he'll win pretty clearly. So I guess if I make an official prediction, I'm gonna go with Earl Spence by stoppage in the ninth, 10th, 11th, or 12th round. I know that's vague. But again, I think it was at least eight. I lean more towards 11 and 12 than nine and 10. But I think Spence wins by stoppage in late rounds. And if it's not by stoppage, he wins by pretty clear decision. Anyways, what do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think Sean Porter wins this fight somehow? Do you think this way Porter wins this fight? Or do you think Porter can do enough to persuade the judges in some of the rounds just to, to even win it? I don't, I think he can, but I don't think he does. Anyways, again, I like Earl Spence, but a late round stoppage. If not, clear decision. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And as usual and as always, I may or may not be an expert, but I am a longtime fan with informed knowledge and opinion. I thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll talk soon.